Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So this is the continuation of my previous tutorial. So I'll just go ahead and give you a short brief about what happened exactly. I used SE Toolkit to create a simple payload for Metaprinter, and I went ahead and um, ran that through my old computer. So I would, I'm assuming over here that through some social engineering or other stuff, you have inserted this uh, into your com uh, target com person's computer. And once you have that in their system, it is up and running. And now as you can see, uh, I typed sessions uh, hyphen L and we have this session open and I used uh, session hyphen I space one to go ahead and get access to that. So now you might be thinking that we could do all thing or uh, anything that we want uh, through the command prompt, then why would we would need a meterpreter? The reason being that if the person has told you in one of my previous tutorials, he's smart enough he will straight away go ahead to the task manager and right click the uh, payload that's running and end the process tree and it will get disconnected. So the first thing that we would be doing over here is we would be migrating process to something else. So I'll just type migrate and we'll type help. And as you can see a process ID must be specified and not a process name. So we need the process ID uh, for our payload that's running over here. So let's go ahead and, uh, and, we do, uh, and since running the Cal Linux, we don't know what is the process ID of the payload running. So just go ahead and type help and see what all things can we see, can we do by using the meterpreter. We can go ahead and manipulate the timestamp, which is quite an awesome feature of this one. So that the person, even if uh, you have infiltrated some big organization and you have changed the time dates for each and everything, the forensic investigator will just be confused and he will not even be able to know what is actually happening over there. Then we have the Hasdom database that will go ahead and dump all the contents of the security access manager. That is our simple computer. That means for the Windows, uh, it have, Windows has the SAM database that security ac accounts manager or access manager something that stores each and every password that you save in your computer. So Hasdom will go ahead and spit out all the uh, passwords that you have along with the username. Then we have get system that will go ahead and gain access to our local system that is we only have the administrator access as of now but we will get the system access that means we will be able to edit and modify the system files then if our computer has video uh, webcam then we can go ahead and get a, get a gain a snapshot of that and we can also go ahead and record the our uh, per targets audio chat and video chat anything that we want and uh, all of these things then we can go ahead and get a screenshot or we can go ahead and use multiple desktops if we want we can start keystroke login, key scan, and all of these things. But this is, these are not things we are interested. I'm teaching you that later on. The most important thing that first is that we need to secure our access into that computer. We need to go ahead and make sure that the person does not go ahead and kill our process. So for that, we would need to go ahead and migrate. And before we migrate, we need to know which PID to migrate, which process to migrate to. So let's go ahead and check. It needs a process ID name that to be specified. So we will first go ahead and check the process ID. That means we need to first get the process ID for our payload that's running so that we could go ahead and migrate. So let's go ahead and check what's the command prompt for checking all the process that's running. So let's check. Okay, search, upload, networking commands, git proxy, netstat, and uh, I have config, IP config, port forward, route. No, we don't want any of these things. We just, okay, get PID. And uh, yes, that's what we are looking for. So let's go ahead and check. Get PID 3880. That's the PID of our current session. Let's check what we get over here. And the payload. So properties we want to check the PID for each one let's go ahead and check so we have all of these things get desktop idle time that's not we're interested in shell get UID of the service running no uh, okay PS so we will go ahead and select PS and see all the processes that's running so for payload let's check 
the PID and the PPID uh, we are mostly interested in PID so that would be 3880 so let's check if we could go ahead and use migrate 3880 okay so okay that was an error from my end what I did I needed to migrate to explorer.exe that is 3268 so I'll type migrate and I'll type 3268 and I'll hit enter. Let's see if we are able to migrate to the explorer.exe. Perfect. So what I did over here is that I went ahead and transferred myself to the explorer.exe. So as you can see, we do not have any payload running over here. It's only the explorer.exe. And uh, the reason because I merged the payload along with explorer.exe and now the person only if he goes ahead and tries to uh, end the process of explorer.exe only then he will be able to go ahead and create and as you can see even if it deletes the payload.exe it doesn't matter to us because we still have the, our meterpreter running even after that even after the person deleted the payload and uh, the reason being that uh, we have migrated our payload to explorer.exe and he cannot go ahead and throw us out anytime sooner. So now once we have migrated, we need to make sure that even if the com even if the person goes ahead and restarts his computer, we would still be able to go ahead and run our system. So there are two different ways for that. The first thing is that we go ahead and copy this payload to our startup folder over here and make it run every time. Uh, and the second one is that we create a virus so that we uh, it runs every time the system starts. It starts with the boot sector. So the thing that I would be teaching right now is to go ahead and copy this to our startup file so we have this payload over here in the user share set and we need to copy it to our let's say so it's under uh, yeah microsoft roaming windows never mind wherever it is so i have the uh, location of that it doesn't, it doesn't mind where it is exactly so i need to copy that over here so that it will run every time i go ahead and run this